So a bit ago, Steve from Hardware Unboxed did a video about the recent uplift in the 9070 XT from AMD. But then Brian from Tech Yes City found some differing results. I thought both findings were interesting. They both had merit, but it also brought up some questions for me. Not the results so much as how different the results were versus what previous data that was used versus what previous and current hardware was used versus Windows updates optimizing versus games and programs with their updates and optimizing, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously there's a lot of different variables. So I thought I'd do some testing, but instead of using my previous data as a comparison, what I chose to do was to install the original drivers on my current test bench, run some games, then install the latest drivers and run the same games at the same settings. To do this for the 9070 XT, I used the original driver that it rolled out with on 3.6.25 using version 25.3.1. Then I installed the most recent driver from 7.1.25 version 25.6.3. Then for the 5070 Ti, I used the driver version that was current at the time the 9070 XT rolled out, which was dated 2.20.25 and I used version 572.47. Then I installed the most recent driver, dated 7125, version 576.88. Now I only tested five games, more due to time constraints, but over time I've noticed that a lot of my results in the past when average versus other reviewers that use say 10 games or more, haven't really deviated much beyond plus or minus one to 2%. Anyways, the results were uh, interesting. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the test bench I use. So you're gonna see this at the top of each of the charts. This one's Cyberpunk 2077 using Windows 11. Ultra preset, scaling's off, no RT, no frame gen. And uh, I'm not really gonna talk too much about the 1% lows and uh, the average FPS numbers themselves, but I am gonna talk about the differences. So right here, you've got the RX 97 XT with the original release drivers, version 25.3.1 as of 3.625. And then you've got uh, NVIDIA's most recent driver when the 9070 XT was released, uh, version 572.47 dated 2.20.25. And then the most recent drivers for both of those GPUs. The AMD's version came out on 6.30.25. The 5070 Ti's version came out on 7.125. And so what you'll see here in these two areas is the percent difference between the 9070 XT and the 5070 Ti. This shows your difference for the original drivers or the older drivers. And this is the difference between the two GPUs for the latest drivers. And, and then this here in the white shows the differences in the uplift or downshift as it were from their old drivers to the new drivers. And for some reason, these numbers are getting cut off, so I'll, I'll clarify. But let's start right here. Percent difference between the original driver for the 9070 XT and the driver that was out for the 5070 Ti at that time. The 9070 XT at 1080p outperformed the 5070 Ti by 1.9%, at 1440p by 3.7%, and at 4K by 5.5%, which translates to an average performance increase for for the 9070 XT over the 5070 Ti of 3.7 percent and then for the newer drivers the 9070 XT outperformed the 5070 Ti by 7.1 percent at 1080p 9.4 percent at 1440p 
and 9.9% at 4K, resulting in an average performance gain over the 5070 Ti at 8.8%. Interestingly enough, the 9070 XT's new driver gave it an uplift at 1080p of 2.7% versus the old driver. Right here where the number got cut off, that should read uh, plus 1.4% at 1440p and plus 1.6% at 4K. Oddly enough, I found that the 5070 Ti with the latest driver, we lost performance here, which partially speaks to these differences here increasing versus the past differences, right? And so at 1080p, the 5070 Ti lost 2.3%. At 1440p, it lost 3.9%. And at 4K, it lost 2.5%. Next chart is Blackmouth Wukong with very high preset scalings minimized because you can't turn it off. No RT, no frame gen. And as you can see, uh, not as much of a gain with the old drivers in comparison, but the 9070 XT did beat the 5070 Ti by 2.4% at 1080p, by about 2% at 1440p, and it lost against the 5070 Ti by 0.4%, which is kind of a run variance kind of thing, but we're gonna take that into account as an average overall performance over the 5070 Ti at a gain of about 1.3%. With the newer drivers, we've got a little more significance here, where at 1080p, the 9070 XT outperforms the 5070 Ti by 6.1%, at 1440p by 5.7%, and at 4K by 0.8%. So not a huge difference there, but still that adds up to an average of an overall performance gain over the 5070 Ti at 4.2%. The 9070 XT current driver versus old driver, we've got a percentage difference of performance at 0.3% at 1080p, an increase of 0.7% at 1440p, and that holds true at 4K as well at 0.7%. The more significant thing is the 5070 Ti, just like in the previous game, lost performance. I lost 3.1% performance at 1080p, lost 2.8% performance at 1440p and lost pretty insignificant, but still need to show it and talk about it at 0.6% loss. And for Dune Awakening, I used the ultra preset, scalings off, no RT, no frame gen. And this time we're, we went a little bit backwards on the 9070 XT versus the 5070 Ti when it comes to the original drivers. Uh, we gained about 1.9% at 1080p, but at 1440p, we have a loss of about 5.4% performance, and at 4K, significantly at 16.3% loss. So that averages to an overall performance loss of 6.6% with the old drivers. It becomes a little bit more significant of a difference with the new drivers. So the 9070 XT performs better at 1080p versus the 5070 Ti by 4.5%, but it loses to the 5070 Ti at 1440p by 3.3%, and it loses a decent chunk against the 5070 Ti at 4K at 13.1%. So the 9070 XT has an overall average performance loss over the 5070 Ti at nearly 12%. And then we're back to the 9070 XT, pretty much stomping the 5070 Ti on Monster Hunter Wilds at ultra preset, no scaling, no RT, no frame gen. On the old drivers, we've got a gain of 12.7% for the 9070 XT at 1080p, a gain of 13.3% at 1440p, and a gain of 1.7% at 4K for an overall average performance gain of 9.2%. And it becomes a lot larger of a margin 
for the 9070 XT versus the 5070 Ti with the new drivers and increased performance for the 9070 XT over the 5070 Ti at 1080p at 21.6% and at 1440p a gain of 20.6% and at 4K a gain of 12.5% for an overall average performance gain of 18.2%. Interestingly enough, the 9070 XT's new driver versus its old driver provided a 5.5% increase in performance at 1080p, a 4.4% increase in performance at 1440p, and a 4.2% increase in performance at 4K. And 5070 Ti is holding steady at losing its ground between its new driver and its old driver. We lose 2.2% at 1080p, we lose 2.6% at 1440p, and we lose a significant 5.8% at 4K. And then finally for Red Dead Redemption 2 at Ultra Preset, scaling's off, no RT, no frame gen. We have a repeat of what we mostly saw before where the 9070 XT versus the 5070 Ti on the old drivers, the 9070 XT is pretty much stomping the 5070 Ti at 1080p on 21% gain, 1440p 19.4% gain, and 4K 16.9% gain for an overall average gain of 19.1%. And then for the new drivers, the 9070 XT increases its lead at 1080p, a gain of 25%, at 1440p, a gain of 22.9%, and at 4K, a gain of 16.3% for an overall performance gain of 21.4%. Old driver versus new driver, the 9070 XT's new driver gives it a gain of 3.4% at 1080p, 2.6% at 1440p, and 2% at 4K. And then the 5070 Ti new driver versus its old driver, at 1080p it gains a meager 0.1%, at 1440p it loses 0.4%, and at 4K it gains 2.5%. And so for a little bit more clarity of all the numbers that we just looked at, so the five game average 9070XT versus the 5070Ti, the winner is the 9070XT with the old drivers for both of these GPUs at a 5.3% overall gain over the 5070Ti. Whereas the five game average for the new drivers is 8.1%. And looking at the GPUs individually, their old driver versus new drivers uplift, the 9070 XT's new driver gave it an uplift of 2.1%, whereas the 5070 Ti's new driver lost 2% of performance overall. All right, so to be clear, although my results differ from other reviewers, uh, they weren't significant enough of a difference, at least that's what I think, that it deviates from the overall messaging. In the end, the takeaway here is that there has been a decent amount of gains per game and overall performance recently with the 9070 XT. The 5070 Ti is another matter. I'm not sure what happened here, but with the driver problems NVIDIA has been having since the 50 series rollouts seems to be still ongoing. I double checked my setup and my drivers even restarted a few times to confirm my scores. So yeah, uh, AMD is getting stronger. NVIDIA is getting weaker. Anyways, hope that helps to clarify things. Maybe it made it better. Maybe it made it worse. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you tell me. And if you found the information in this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe below. It helps out the channel a ton. And in the meantime, thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next one.